What's going on everybody? Today we're going to do a quick toolbox tour of my 60 inch Snap-on Epic cabinet. I've got all my stuff at my home garage right now. It's all fairly clean and organized. I'm prepping to uh, go to a new shop. So I figured uh, while I got everything here and easily available and accessible, I'll make a quick YouTube video, go through some of my stuff, show you guys what I got. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, let me know if you want to see anything more in depth in the comments below once I upload and uh, we can make that happen for you. So we're going to dive right into it. We're going to start with what I got up top here. Work microwave, couple knickknacks, things like that, sunglasses. Uh, that shelf above there stays in my home garage, but it's got some chemicals on it now. This is my Matco fan. Thing's pretty awesome, super strong, really nice when it's hot outside, really gets the air moving. Two chargers right there. We got a Milwaukee and a Snap-on. Uh, most of my stuff is Milwaukee. This is the uh, 12 and 18 charger, so that's pretty nifty there. And then for my Snap-on 14.4 stuff, we've got that. For microfiber, this is a heavy-duty work clipboard. Uh, it's got multiple compartments inside of it, so that's pretty nice there. Uh, please forgive if this video gets a little unstable. Don't do a lot of filming, and I'm, you know, giving this a dry run with one hand, so hopefully it works out. Dive into the top drawer here. Uh, starting in this back left corner, we've got Snap-on Metric Crow's Feet. We are missing the 14. Uh, know pretty much exactly what car it's on. I'm never going to get it back, so eventually I'll have to buy another one. Uh, we've got some assorted axle nut sockets right there, 36, 30, 32. Those are really the ones I run into most often, so that's what I have. Uh, we have a O2 sensor socket right here. We've got some spark plug sockets here. These two are uh, just regular old Stanley. This is a uh, Snap-on Swivel 5 8 but I keep it with the other ones. That way I know where it is. I lost the middle one and ended up upgrading. Uh, we got my first ever oil filter claw, Fram, from Walmart. Doesn't do a great job, but I keep it around just in case. Uh, specialty oil filter socket for Hyundai cartridge filters. Uh, another O2 sensor socket. Long T40. Long 8mm uh, for head studs. In the back there, we've got uh, metric, shallow, half-inch drive, Matco impact sockets. Uh, the rest of this rail is various allens and torques and things like that that used to go in a big blow mold case that took up a lot of space um and i ordered this socket rail offline uh, it's like another one i have that i really like so i put some of them on there i've got another one on order you'll see that big blow mold case later on in the video it's still got some stuff in it so i can't yet get rid of it um moving back over here we got 3H drive, 12 point metric impact uh, Cornwell sockets. This one here is a 12 I lost, and so I got the Matco ADV version. Uh, this one, like many of these sockets you'll see, is they are missing. They are on my everyday use cart um, on a socket rail kind of like this one back here. So don't mind the uh, missing spots here. Uh, Snap-on, deep well, 3H drive, metric, impact sockets. Again, most of the missing ones are on my everyday cart. Uh, 3H drive, shallow, metric, snap-on impact sockets. These were a BOGO, their sister sets. Um, use the deep wells more than I use the shallows. Uh, Lyle tap sockets uh, for your tap and die set. Make things a lot easier. This is a uh, limited edition promo Cornwell set. All of these sockets are 10 millimeter. So you've got your short right there, your mid, your chrome swivel, your chrome deep, your impact deep, your impact swivel, and then your impact short on a nice magnetic rail. I uh, thought that was super cool, super funny since everybody's always looking for their 10 mil. It's kind of the joke among mechanics. So I thought it was cool that they did a full um, just 10 mil socket rail. We got a spark tester there. We got these sockets right here from Matco and they grab up to 80% rounded. Um, they are lifesavers, especially when you don't have to hammer on the, uh, the twist socket. These things are really nice. I'll pick one up, get you a number on it in case you're interested in something like that. Uh, I don't remember how much they were, but I don't think they were crazy expensive. 
Uh, these are sister sets, one of those BOGO deals, Precision Torque from MAC. Uh, so they've got the little flanks in there so they can grab partially rounded bolts as well. Uh, this is one of the first socket sets I ever bought. So we got the quarter inch here that goes from five to 15. Uh, and then we got the three eighths that goes from five to 19. Uh, and they are metric as well. Most of my stuff is metric. I typically work on imports. Uh, in the back, we got the Toyota filter cup. We got a lug stud installer, triple squares, mostly for head bolts, ball Allens right there. If you don't have a set, they can be really, really handy. Uh, this little thing right here, I couldn't get to stay open before I filmed the tour, so bear with me here. Stubby or shallow, um, low profile wrench with these really cool low profile bits so they don't stick out far outside of the tool awesome for interior work can't imagine doing uh blend door actuators temperature actuators anything inside the dash without this tool set right here it is an absolute lifesaver um i'll get a little close up on the wrench right there in case you guys are interested you can probably take that number to your matco guy and he can help you get that Right here, we got some quarter inch drive, deep well impact uh, corn well. Uh, you'll see the 10 is missing. That is out on my everyday use cart. These I got cheap, uh, bought them used. Great deal, saved 20 bucks, hopped all over it. Uh, Lyle filter sockets right there, fuel filters, oil filters. Uh, great little kit. We got some no name twist sockets, something I bought. A long time ago when I was first getting into the business uh, they're kind of dull now I'll probably upgrade soon but they get the job done and they got this nice nifty little case uh, this is the oil filter socket or wrench claw whatever you want to call it that I use more often it's the blue point version uh, I have less trouble with that than I have with the clamp style uh, timing gear tool for uh, belt cars dual overhead cam stuff like that Pretty cool little tool. Uh, just a bunch of random stuff. Headphones, zip tie cutter, Sharpie, some valve lapping compound. Uh, working hands, great for the winter time. Keeps you from getting all chapped and chipped and sore. Uh, thread restore kit, metric. You can see I got it taped over uh, because I've lost this one over here uh, in a move before. And since I'm prepping to move again, I've got it taped so that they don't come out and I don't lose them. Uh, we got some scrapers right here, mostly for stickers, decals, anything like that, state inspections, that kind of stuff. Always have two in case I lose one. Milwaukee drill in the back that I use as a screw gun uh, often. So you can see my Phillips head bit beside it. You got your stubby Milwaukee 3H drive impact. Tool is an absolute monster. Definitely recommend if you're thinking about it. Uh, can't recommend it highly enough. We got your Air Half Inch MG725 from Snap-on. That gun is the truth. Uh, and then you've got your Milwaukee Half Inch 18 volt. Uh, I've moved to the battery powered stuff because it's got similar torque. I never really have any problems with it. And I don't have to worry about an air hose. I could take it out in the parking lot. I can get into, uh, you know, tight spaces without worrying about having that extra hose hang off it is a little bulky and heavy but i really like it uh, i got my multimeter up here because i don't want to shove it in another drawer and have it get damaged or anything like that not super expensive but uh really important so i don't want to mess it up in case you know i throw it off and end up having trouble with diagnostic or something like that so i try to keep it up here safe in this drawer uh, Snap-on 3H drive and quarter inch ratchets. Uh, absolutely love them. They're the only 14.4 Snap-on tools that I have. Uh, typically, I prefer Milwaukee, but I love these things. Down here in the bottom, uh, we got some Cornwell double-end flex head ratcheting wrenches with the little lip, the zero offset. Uh, 8 and 10 all the way up through, if you look in the back here, 17 and 19. Pretty awesome little set and then i have this six point tecton um that is not zero offset doesn't have the lip use that for like interior stuff again you know it's eight tecton you can stick it in there and ratchet doesn't really get in the way it's got a pretty low profile moving on to this 
next drawer down here, this is my wrench drawer. So you guys can see everything there. Uh, on this side, we've got gear wrench, standard ratchet wrenches, uh, and then a couple oddballs up there at the top. I don't use a ton of standard, but I've got the room in the drawer, and in case I ever need them, you know, I have them. I've uh, got some old, cheap, cut, custom, whatever you want to do with them, low-profile wrenches. Uh, 10 Allen wrench, use that for Subaru timing. I was doing a lot of that for a little while, so I went ahead and bought a tool to help make it a little easier. Coilover spanner wrenches uh, for lowering cars and adjusting the ride height and stuff like that. Those are must-haves if you're into that. Uh, this is both standard and metric stubby set. Again, with a couple oddballs over there. Still gear wrench, awesome set, use it a lot. Um, again, mostly metric, but I've got the standard in case I need them. Mac Tools, 6 to 32 uh, precision torque wrench set. So it's got the flanks inside in case you have something that's rounded or a little rough, something like that. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about that. It grabs right on. Awesome wrench set. Super glad I hopped on that deal. I don't know if Mac will ever do that again. Uh, it was crazy cheap. I don't know how they even did it in the first place. Got some alignment wrenches over here. We got uh, two 24s, a 22 ratcheting with a non-ratcheting end down here. Same thing for that 19, and then we got a wrench extender. Those are pretty common sizes on the brands that I work on, so I like to have them in one place so I can just grab them and go when it's time to do an alignment. Uh, this set right here was BOGO Blue Point. We got the uh, standard length but metric sizes and ratchet wrenches over here with the little angle offset on the back. And it was by that set and you get this standard size version uh, for free. So I went ahead and got that and I have the standard stubbies with the little offset in the back there. Uh, don't really use them a ton, but I got the room in the box so they're there and I've used them occasionally. Uh, we got some dog bone ratchet wrenches from Craftsman, 1714, 18, or 1915, excuse me, uh, 10, 13, 8, 12. Uh, those are pretty cool little tools, especially uh, to lend out to people because I don't worry about them a ton. So if somebody needs to borrow a ratchet wrench, it's easier to just hand that off than to start giving them a bunch of pieces out of your set uh three quarter aka 19 another alignment wrench uh some adjustables here these also go to the alignment machine fairly often especially for just a quick tow and go or something like that warranty replacement rack something like that where you're not going to spend a ton of time on it you're just getting it back in the green as they say uh random assortment of brands of metric ratchet wrenches some of the more common sizes i use i got three or four tens in there a couple 12s a couple 14s that way when i lose one or if it's off on my car or i've left it up on the hood of the car and it's now in the air and i need it underneath i have an extra one right here uh some allen wrenches this right here half inch drive snap on tech angle torque wrench this thing is not super easy to open with one hand so bear with me uh i don't use the half inch as often as i do the three eighths but when i bought this toolbox i got a pretty wicked uh rebate on the truck so i put it towards that because occasionally i do struggle to get things on those higher torques with the three eighths drive so it's nice to have the half inch tech angle snap on three eighths drive uh, couldn't do my job without them. Absolutely love the uh, ability to measure that angle torque the way that they do it. It's pretty sweet. Uh, our final long drawer here is pliers. I have a couple different styles of plier organization, a couple different sets, and tons of room to grow. So, we'll start over here. This right here is a blue point set that I bought when I first got into working on cars. Not the sturdiest, not the greatest, gets the job done. Again, I keep them around in case I really need to beat on them or uh, make something custom or lend them out. I don't really have to stress about them too much. Uh, over here, as well as out here on the side, because this pair is too big to fit in the organizers, we've got snap-on, snap-ring pliers. 
uh, they're pretty sweet definitely glad I made that investment it made my life a whole lot easier we had some hose clamp pliers both of these as well as this uh, are driveline pliers for doing like CV axle rebuilds and stuff like that for all the various uh, snap rings and different types of crimps that you do on those uh, this right here is really cool for vacuum hoses you can see one side is tube one side is hose and it pushes the hose off of those prefabbed hard lines right there uh, that way you don't have to worry about busted knuckles or slipping or ripping the hose that thing is awesome i think lyle makes it i got it off the cornwall truck we got some automated or automatic wire strippers here those are pretty cool uh, we got some hose pliers that are circular so you can pull your hoses back and stuff like that without worrying about damaging or ripping we got some uh, Mac duck bills as well as some long needle nose Mac. Got those in a set together. Uh, used the needle nose more than the duck bill, but I've, you know, I've got them. Uh, Matco Tools rivet gun. The head on that swivels. It's really nice. It was not super expensive. Um, definitely recommend that if you don't have a rivet gun and you're in the market. Uh, we got what I call the big three right here. So you've got your snap on needle nose your snap-on angle cutters, and your snap-on adjustables. Uh, that comes in a set together, and uh, they're some of my favorite pliers in the drawer. So those are absolutely awesome. Uh, long Mac angle cutters, Nipex Cobra in the three different sizes. Those were a set. Those are the Mac Tools branded version. They were on sale on the flyers, so I scooped those up. This is my favorite pair of pliers in the drawer. These little 45 degree snap on uh, needle nose. Probably the best pair of pliers I own. Definitely my favorite. We have some lower profile Mac needle nose right here. Uh, they get into little tighter spaces and stuff like that, but you can't really torque on them. So uh, I prefer this big snap on pair here. Uh, Matco hog ring pliers. You can see they're not super dirty. I try to stay clean if I'm doing something on the interior. I try to keep my tools clean for the most part anyway, but definitely interior work. Uh, strippers, crimpers, snap-on. Uh, this was a BOGO, so I bought the uh, green handled set over here. This came with it. Uh, we got some just general linesman's pliers from uh, doing home or residential HVAC which I did for a little while uh, that's also where these tin shears came from PVC cutter hose cutter great for radiator hose transmission line anything you're gonna have to put a rubber hose on and you want a clean uh, squared off cut those are awesome big clamp style uh, vice grips remote radiator spring clamp pliers as i call them so they've got the long cable you can uh lock them they're super great if you can't get your hand somewhere or you need to manipulate the spring clamp those are awesome ratcheting wire crimp pliers you can see the number on those there and they don't open back up unless you go all the way to the crimp point so those are really cool we got a bunch of minis uh, in here from Mac. So let's see here. Needle nose, uh, we got angle cutters, duck bills, little uh, 45 degrees. Those are pretty cool. Really nice for uh, interior stuff and things of that nature. I have a bunch of stuff that's specific to interior and tiny spaces. Um, that's one of the hardest things about being a mechanic is working in those small spaces So whenever there's a tool that I think will make that easier. I usually make the investment uh, another type of uh, Spring clamp plier these lock with this mechanism right here And then you can use them to slide the spring clamp up and down the hose. Those are pretty cool Push pin clip pliers that go 90 degrees. They also go straight um, Bought these when I was doing Subaru stuff because they've got those push pins in the wheel well. It's really nice to have that angle to get them. Vice grip set and this pair on the end here is needle nose. These are just regular vice grips in various sizes. PWZ um, from Snap-on. This is the medium size one. Really awesome for alignments. Uh, 
Chelsea's tie rod, something like that, where you really got to get a bite on it. Those things are just absolute lifesavers. Uh, quick grab and grow, uh, wire strippers, spring loaded, pretty nice little uh, pliers. They definitely get it done. Push pins, um, just straight. They don't index or anything like that, but they're really nice to have. We got some Matco files and some uh, plastic trim tools. These are just in here because I didn't really have a good place to put them that uh, all these hooks wouldn't hit the drawers. I needed a, a deeper drawer, so they ended up in here. Some super beat up crimper strippers. Really, they should probably be thrown away, but I hoard tools, so they're in there. Found these in a used car. Don't know what they are. Uh, but they went right in my plier drawer because I thought they were cool. Uh, and I think that wraps up the pliers drawer. If I missed something or you guys are interested in something I didn't show the number on, just let me know and I'll circle back around to it. So let's check out this drawer here. This is electrical junk, a bunch of different wires, uh, test leads, different jumpers, harnesses, known good uh, bulbs and stuff like that. Uh, we got my snap-on tape measure back there. We got snap-on terminal tool set for taking the pins out of connectors. That thing is really awesome, and I like it better than the wheel that has all the different terminals sticking out of it. I like to have my own individual style. We got some relays, some other stuff, some heat shrink, some butt connectors, dial caliper, fuses, lighter for the heat shrink. Bunch of different types of tape, electrical tape, friction tape, Teflon tape, um, masking tape, tape measure, solder. Uh, I use these for back probes, but they're actually sewing pins. You can get a big box for a couple dollars at Walmart. Butane soldering torch from Power Probe. I have both the light bulb style and the LED voltage style test lights. Uh, they have various different applications typically i go to the uh 12 volt one but sometimes i like to have the light bulb just to see other things uh hammers so we got double set of dead blow from snap on uh this is another dead blow with a soft and a hard um rubber cap use that for tapping and seals or anything that's delicate i don't want to damage but i still want to put some force on uh, two Mac anti-vibes, uh, one a smaller three-pound maul, one a longer three-pound maul for when I really need to get some force on something. Uh, Cornwell ball peen style metal face dead blow. That's my go-to hammer. That thing is a absolute monster. So I use that a lot. Plus it's in my favorite color, green. Uh, we got some various extensions, some cheap Harbor Freight ratchets, and then this cool little uh, stubby, like I said, tight spaces, something like that. Gotta have it, works awesome. Another little tight space ratchet, mostly just various extensions. Uh, I keep this um, stripped lug nut socket down here because it stays with the set that I use to hammer it on. That way I don't damage it or lose it. Uh, we got a good old fashioned crowbar that is from back when I was working on cars in my parents driveway uh, as a teenager and it's just followed me everywhere never know when you're going to need it so I keep it with me that was before I knew about pry bars so there's a little piece of history for you we got some snap-on wobble plus locking uh, 3h drive blue point quarter inch locking uh, missing this long one here no idea where it went snap on half inch drive impacting little swivel is out on my cart uh some various ratchets we got a mac tools uh long here we got a locking flex head from snap on we got a standard um non-flex from snap on with the electric blue pearl grip we have a locking flex head half inch from snap on we have the super long flex head half inch from snap on uh, we have the snap-on long quarter inch here. Uh, we've got the extendable old school Harbor Freight. Never failed me yet. Uh, two foot long 3H drive locking extension for like bell housing bolts and stuff like that. And we got a caliper depressor in there.
not a whole lot in this drawer not much to talk about uh big snap on tap and die set launch code reader quick grab and go in the parking lot type of stuff caulk gun um heavy duty work gloves sanding block knee pad sandpaper coolant funnel adjusters some anises packing tape don't let parts see that they'll be upset that i've got it uh inner tie rod tool old school style antifreeze tester which i barely ever use anymore that drawer is not super exciting bottom drawer power tools and accessories so starting over here we got the 18 volt milwaukee 3 8 drive fuel we got the matco 3 8 drive air we got the milwaukee fuel uh die grinder whiz wheel right angle grinder whatever you want to call it um cordless that thing is absolutely awesome I bought it right before um, I transferred out to do residential HVAC, so it didn't get a ton of use, uh, but I'm going back into the automotive side of things now, so I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces. Uh, Mac Tools Cutoff Wheel, Milwaukee M12 Soldering Iron, Milwaukee Right Angle Drill, we got my Matco Digital Tire Chuck, we got uh, Carbide Burr Set. These hoses you see here are for the R134A can taps. I have two different kinds. Uh, headlight restoration kit. This is a compression tester hose that is just too big to fit in my kit. We got some more heavy duty work gloves. Air ratchet, air tool, electric ratchet, grease, snap on. We got another angle grinder with a carbide burr bit in it. Straight grinder with a carbide burr bit in it. This is a neck light from Snap-on. It goes on the back of your neck and then you can angle it around. It's nice if you're laying on your back in a dash or something like that. It's nice to have that little bit of light there. Uh, we got a couple pairs of safety glasses, blow gun, Ingersoll Rand air hammer, corner cat sander, uh, staple gun, some vacuum hose, sawzall blade, ratcheting, uh, dual piston caliper depressor, snap on drill bits, uh, left handed extractors, bunch of lights over here in this corner. So we got a Milwaukee stick light, 12 volt, snap on, uh, flex head, little Cyclops style light. Uh, this one has the metal case. It's really awesome. So you can see the number on that there. Uh, plastic, Cyclops, indexing style. Um, flashlight, both magnetic bottoms. Uh, over here, we got a couple different headlights. Sorry for the camera angle going everywhere. Uh, we got some Sawzall blades, some pruning blades, cutting wood, stuff like that. Various air hammer bits, uh, my UV light for finding OC leaks, my UV glasses, attachments for my air hammer. We got a little uh, high pressure fuel pump tap it in here. Uh, these are gold if you work on Hyundais. Uh, we got a little magnetic toolbox widget stuck to this one. Can tap for the new self regulating valve R134A style cans. Gotta have that uh bearing packer right here don't get a whole lot of use out of that anymore but i've got it some synthetic brake grease more sandpaper saws all with the uh wood blade in there that's pretty much the end of that drawer there get that shut we got a snap-on anti-fatigue mat this thing's pretty awesome if you're working at your toolbox paperwork drawer uh receipts this is for changing out the uh, spikes on the bottom of your golf cleats. Uh, I call this drawer things with handles because that's what's in here. There's no real rhyme or reason to it or organization. It's just stuff with handles mostly. Uh, snap on. Pretty much everybody's got that screwdriver set. Got all the basic stuff you need except for... Phillips number three, which you have to buy separately, um, which I did. Cornwell pick tool set with the uh, straight missing here and then an additional curve from an old snap-on set. I lose tons of picks. I'm sure these won't be the last and I'll buy more. 
Got the long picks here. This is a ratcheting screwdriver with a bunch of bits. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, pretty inexpensive. Cornwall has some great deals and we've got some great Cornwall guys in my area. So absolutely love to support them whenever I can. And their tools are pretty phenomenal. So you'll see a lot of Cornwall stuff around. Uh, Cornwell, Clip Tool, Matco, uh, Valve Stem Puller. We got a bunch of punches and chisels down there. Uh, mostly Harbor Freight, some like Stanley and Mac Tools, um, Secondary Line Expert. Spring Clip Retainer Tool, Spring Clip Tool for uh, drum brakes, stuff with handles. This is one of those rotating caliper depressors for the... Um, calipers that you have to spin in like i said this drawer has no like rhyme or reason to it magnet excuse me uh mirror magnet this i use for high pressure fuel lines stuff like that pops them right off got two different versions uh for the various types you'll see out there hood strut clamp another mirror magnet combo flexible sanding block you wrap your sandpaper around this side and it can flex to get like headlights and stuff, which is really nice. Brake measuring tool, magnetizer, demagnetizer, lug nut key. These are down here because my big uh, kit with my bits is down here, but they're blue point. They take the quarter inch hex bits. Again, super nice for small spaces, interior work. Feeler gauges, razor knife, razor knife, automated center punch little stick thermometer digital throttle body toothbrush got to clean those throttle bodies impact hammer with my most commonly used bit um, valve core tool schrader valve tool little mini all-in-one i think i found that in a used car or something um, copper brass brush whatever you want to call it terminal cleaner for batteries little teeny mini screwdriver uh, that blade comes out and on the other side there's a Phillips radiator hook tool uh, if I'm blasting through this I apologize I've recorded this three different times now and continually had problems so if I skip over something or something you want to hear or see more about please let me know like I said this is my first attempt at a real YouTube video uh, all of this stuff is not going to come out and get opened. I'm going to point at it and let you know what it is. And if you want to see more about it, let me know in the comments. And I will certainly do a dedicated video on some of this stuff. So we got your Mighty Vac hand vacuum pump. Uh, we got a power probe here. Snap-on cooling pressure tester. Alltel video inspection scope, oscilloscope, whatever you call it. Baron race and seal driver. These two are cylinder head stands. That's the case for my impact driver and more impact bits. Lang, master, um, spindle nut, CV axle rethread kit. This is that big bulky blow mold case I talked about earlier that's got the hex and the Torx in it that I just don't have enough socket rails for yet, but it takes up a ton of space. You can see how large that thing is. It's the Blue Point master kit. Uh, this is a Cornwell infrared digital thermometer as well as the stick uh, analog mercury style thermometer. So that's super awesome for AC work. These are both stud pullers and installers. This is like that chrome socket style that sometimes flattens the threads. This is Snap-On's version that it, it uses like the two nut method, which is pretty cool. Uh, this right here is a stubby hex driver set so for allens but it's got the ridges on it so it'll pull out a rounded allen um ended up needing it on one specific job so i bought the whole kit that way if i ever need it again i've got it tire plug patch kit right here um i think it's blackjack or something like that mac tools master right hand and left hand uh rotating caliper depressor We got a three jaw puller right here. Uh, we got a Lyle valve spring valve stem tool right here. Uh, this is a Mac tools bit set of long bits. So I got Torx, Phillips and flats in there. Uh, and then this is a extractor kit. Those little hex heads with the swirl on the bottom. That's what those are. 
Again, if you guys want to see any of this actually come out and get opened up, please let me know. These uh, cylinder head stands are a little finicky in there. We got my jack uh, and jack stands, Harbor Freight, glove holder, can koozie, a couple of my like carry around tool bags when I'm taking stuff home. We got my big hand pump Mighty Vax, got some mystery liquid in it. I don't know what that is, so I'm not gonna open it right now. Uh, long screwdriver, short pry bar, super long pry bar. This is my everyday use socket set right here. We got a little bit of sunlight glare and you can see my lawnmower in the back. Like I said, I'm at my home garage. So this is just a quick run through of my stuff. Half inch drive, deep well metric Matco uh, from 10 to 21. Half inch universal swivel. Half inch drive, shallow 22 millimeter. Half inch to three eighths adapters. I have two because if you're using your half inch or three eighths adapter, you're already in trouble and something's gonna break. It's likely that adapter. So I like to have another one to put right back on it and keep working. Three H drive, metric swivel impact snap on 10 to 19. Uh, absolutely love those, have to have them, must have for every mechanic. 17, 14, 12, eight mil, deep well metric three H drive snap on. 12.17 Cornwell, that's the one missing from that set earlier. 3H drive metric uh, swivel. 24 deep well impact uh, 3H drive from snap on. 10 mil magnetic um, Cornwell. So this thing is pretty sweet. I uh, really like it. Magnetic, it's awesome. Quarter inch drive. Quarter inch drive, 8 through 15 snap on swivels. Pittsburgh or Harbor Freight e-torques, um, seats, other various studs and things like that inside the car. Cheap, beat on them, but they're right there so I don't have to search for them. My most commonly used Allens, these are uh, Snap, or not Snap-on, Craftsman Evolve. Uh, I never felt the need to upgrade to Snap-on because these do the job. Uh, again, sorry about that sunlight glare. Uh, 3 8 to quarter inch impacting adapter, 3 8 to half inch adapter. This is a quarter inch drive, quarter inch standard socket, which I use mostly for like uh, undershields on domestic cars, stuff like that. We've got a five mil Allen and a two and a half mil Allen, another common uh, Allen size I run into. A quarter inch to 3 8 adapter chrome and a T30. Uh, this usually goes in the top drawer at the end of every day, but it comes out on the cart when I'm working and it was easier to show it to you guys out here. Universal compression tester, um, Lang tools, leak down test. Uh, we got some zip ties and other various garbage in here, some kendamas for when it gets slow. Over here we've got Snap-on pneumatic brake bleeder, an old set of manifold gauges that I don't use anymore. Down here we got some jumper cables, some extensions, block of wood, my funnel, brake bleeder reservoir, uh, transmission funnel, stuff like that. And then we've got from my residential HVAC days, which are now going to the shop with me, uh, Testo digital manifold gauges, but they do R134A. So that's gonna be awesome. They're super easy to read. Uh, super easy to use so those will be going with me and then I have another smaller toolbox that I'm not going to go through today that's just got odds and ends nuts and bolts spare parts greases fluids all that kind of stuff I hope to get a cabinet for my epic but uh, that's pretty expensive so we'll see if that ever ends up happening uh, but that's my Mac tools roll cart and that's my Snap-on 60-inch Epic. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought. And let me know if you want to see anything more in-depth. Thank you very much.